where we're going to find your free studio, where we love creativity and collectibles. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing these Monster Inc. Funko Bobs. So this is the new set, which includes the Yeti, Sully, Mike, Sila, and Boo. These are really cool. Let's jump straight into this unboxing. Find Tip Creative Studio. Let's start this unboxing off with a bang, starting off with the Yeti. Welcome to the Himalayas! The Yeti is the guy you see towards the end of the movie with his quote unquote lemon snow cones. I'm a nice guy. Snow cone? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's lemon. It's so funny how for this Funko Pop, the actor decided to add the lemon snow cone. Let's jump straight into this review. I especially love how, looking at him, he has this really nice texture on his body, which feels kind of fluffy in a sense. I really like the details he added to the lemon snow cone. And I especially love how he has this big, wide smile on his face, which really captures his personality. I like how for the snow cones, they have this like transparent, foggy yellow. And then you have the trays holding, which it shows the bottoms of the snow cones right here. The sculpt on him isn't really that detail but it's a cool Funko Pop. Overall he's a really fun character from the movie and let's move on to the next one. Next up is Sully. His pose for this Funko Pop is him when he's like looking for Boo. He has his I guess you could say armor on with his fun trash can lid right here and his like pasta strainer on his head. I love the scene of Mike and Sully looking for Boo in the movie with like all their armor on. Check it out. Such a fun scene with these guys, and let's jump into the review of Sully. I like how for this one, they have so much detail up here in the pasta strainer, especially with the trash can lid. I really like how they're capturing the personality in Sully, how he's afraid, and all the details in his fur, as you guys can see on the back here, with the fur here, and his like spikes, and right here on his ankles, and all over his body. Really nice details in the horn, you have all the brakes and everything. I especially love the details in his face, where the nose is a bit raised, and then dimension in his mouth and his eyebrows which really gives him the personality of him being like afraid and looking for Boo running around the whole facility. He's probably one of my favorites in the set and overall I think he's really cool. Now let's move on to the next one. Move on to the next one, which is Mike Wazowski. Give, give, give. Oh. It's okay, it's all right. As long as it doesn't come near us, we're gonna be okay. Box. I really like how he's matching Sully and his attire looking for Boo. You have another pasta strainer up on his head. You have a little snorkel here with some flippers and then two oven gloves and then I believe this is like a spray can. I really like in this one, they didn't just go with a pitch black eye for Mike Wazowski. They have his iris and then his actual eyeball. Nice details in the mouth here, where they have the dimensions in his face with the teeth coming out. I like the details and accessories, such as the polka dots on the oven gloves. I really like how they really capture the details in the flippers and the overmints, and really capture the scene from the movie where he's all like crazy, paranoid, looking for Boo. Next up is Boo. <laughs> This one's really cool, and I think this is one of the cutest Funko Pops in this set. I can't believe we are waltzing right up to the back. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> Could be contaminated. General, safety is our number one concern. Now, if there's anything that... No, not now, not now, and... Oh, hello, little one. Where did you come from? I especially love how they decided to use the outfit where she's dressed up as a monster to blend in in like the monster babysitting area. You have the big eyes here, which are attached with the wires. You have like the mob details right here, where you have the curls, really nice details and really nice texture in it. And I especially love how if you look down here at the face, you have the teeth sculpted right here next to the hair, the nice like bowl cut here for Boo, and her cute expression where you can see her blush and her happy face seeing Mike and Sully. I like the sculpt in her tentacles, how you have a nice white base and then you have all the little suction pieces on the arms and at the bottom. Real nice details in the tentacles, the hair and the eye. Probably one of my favorites. I especially love how cute she looks and how well they captured her outfit. Last but not least in the set, we have Celia, Mike's girlfriend. Oh, schmoochie poo. <gasps> Googly bear. Happy birthday. Oh, googly woogly, you remembered. 
it's worth noting that for Celia, she's the only one in the set that has a base. And it's really cool how they actually decided to use the transparent one that they use for support on her. Starting out her head, I really like the details in her snake hair. As you guys can see, starting from the back here, it goes in a swirl pattern, which then leads up to show her three snake buddies on this side and there are two on this side. Really nice details of the snake. I especially love how cute they look with their black eyes and two of them hissing with their tongues out. I love how in her face you really captured her sassiness with her long eyelashes and her small little lips. Moving on down to the body, I like how they continue her sassiness with her tentacle arms on her hips and the nice details on the dress. You have kind of like a fish gill pattern for her mini skirt here and her body and then a really nice kind of turtleneck look for the top piece here. Moving on down more, you have her five tentacles, which are spread out and look really nice in fungal form. This is a really fun fungal pop. I especially love how they capture assassinus, and I really love the relationship between her and Mike Wazowski in the movie. I will see you at quitting time and not a minute later. Okay, sweetheart. Think romantical thoughts. You and me, me and you, both of us together. I really love this Monsters Inc. Funko Pop set. And I especially love how they really pulled the character design straight from the scenes of the movie. Monsters Inc. is one of my favorite Pixar movies, and I'm so glad they did a really nice set of them. This set also has three exclusives. The first one being the Funko Shop exclusive, where it's Sully holding Boo in a Chinese takeout box. The next one being the normal version of Sully, except this time he's flocked. And then the last one being the Hot Topic exclusive, Scented Yeti. My favorite in the set is probably Boo because I love the details in her sculpt and how cute she looks in her little monster outfit. Let me know which one's your favorite from the set down in the comment section below. If you guys want to add these Funko Pops to your collection, as always, check the links in the description. If you guys want to see more awesome Funko Pop unboxing, stick around and check out our other playlist where we unbox cool Funkos like this one and all kinds of other cool collectibles. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. That's it. I'm out of ideas. We're closed. Find Tip Creative Studio.